Want to know which of these Boeing 737s is actually a flying destroyer equipped with all the missile systems imaginable? Or how about you find out about the Boeing 737 that looks like a shark, but its fin is used for surveillance? In that case, here are the top 10 modified Boeing 737s. Just make sure you hit that big, red, shiny subscribe button so you never miss any of our upcoming epic videos. And now, let's just dive right into it. Number 10. Boeing 737 Catbird by Lockheed Martin The first model that we're going to be talking about is the Catbird by Lockheed Martin. This is a highly modified Boeing 737, and the name stands for Cooperative Avionics Testbed. Catbird is the call sign for Lockheed Martin aircraft under the IKO. And of course, this plane was created with one simple idea in mind. It was actually intended to offer a cheaper way of testing the avionics suite for the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II. In fact, if you look at the plane, you'll notice that this Boeing 737 has the nose of the F-35 and the small canards near the forward entrance doors. The insides were changed and equipped with racks that will house the avionics we talked about earlier, and it also includes the cockpit of the F-35. Number 9. Boeing 737-AEWNC From a Boeing 737 designed for testing, we move on to the Boeing 737-AEWNC designed with only one thing in mind security. Do you see that giant shark-like fin on top of the AEWNC? Well, that's the new and improved active electronically scanned array radar antenna. It's an upgrade on the previous model, which uses a fixed one instead of the rotating disc. Because the primary use of this plane was for airborne early warning and control, the 14 planes that were ever built of this model have been used by the Royal Australian Air Force, the Turkish Air Force, the United Kingdom, and the Republic of Korea Air Force. Because the plane can carry almost 80 tons of weight and has a range of 4,000 miles, it's been in service since 2009 and is ready to secure the future. This model has been in service for 20 years and it served as a lab rat for system development. If you thought this model was cool, wait till you see what we have in store for you at number 5. Number 8. Boeing 737 JSF Avionics Flying Laboratory if you want to know what this modified Boeing 737 is all about, then you should look at the name. Avionics Flying Laboratory translates into a plane that will be used to test the avionics systems of all future JSF, find the problems they have, and fix them before mass production starts. This will save the company wheelbarrows of cash. But what's so different about the JSF AFL? The model is more or less the same. The only difference is the four-foot nose where you have a developmental radar and the rest of the sensors. Inside the plane, you'll find computers, lots of computers that analyze data and house a team of avionics engineers working on fixing the problems they encounter. Number 7. Boeing 737 MP Surveiller The MP Surveiller's first flight was on April 21, 1982, and they were designed for surveillance purposes only. You see, because the MP Surveiller had the Motorola AN-APS-135V side-looking airborne modular multi-mission radar, it was capable of spotting small ships that were at a distance of 100 nautical miles. That's probably the primary reason the maritime patrol planes were given to the Indonesian Air Force. There were only three of them built, but they served their purpose right. Number 6. Boeing 737 IAI Elta Electronics Radar Testbed Boeing 737-400 has been modified once more. And this time, the one that ordered the modification is the Israeli Aircraft Industries. Currently, you can find the aircraft at the Ben Gurion Airport in Israel. As we already said, this is the plane that's been used for 20 years and is responsible for the creation of systems like Maritime Patrol, AEW and Flight Guard, a commercial aircraft anti-missile protection system, and many others. The distinctive feature of the IAI Elta Electronics Radar Testbed is the cone-shaped nose, and inside the nose is the radar that they used for testing and surveillance. But the aircraft was also used on search and rescue missions. Number 5. Boeing 737 P-8 Poseidon When you have 122 models built of a single aircraft, you know that it's really deadly. Why? Because since it was produced in 2009, the P-8 Poseidon has remained the weapon of choice for anti-submarine warfare and anti-surface warfare. Finally, we have a plane that's actually equipped for fighting. The initial intent was to build it for the United States Navy. But as other countries began to show interest in the P-8 Poseidon, the company built more. 
Now the Indian Navy, the Royal Australian Air Force, and the Royal Air Force have also a fleet of killer Poseidons. This is because Poseidon comes with a weapons bay that can house five torpedoes, an AGM-84D harpoon on both wings, and a retractable electro-optical infrared sensor turret and sonar buoy launchers. Just look at it! The plane is basically a destroyer with wings. Oh, and just as a quick heads up, number two is completely different from everything we saw so far, so make sure you keep watching. Number four, Boeing 737, cargo and convertible version. Without a shadow of a doubt, this plane is an actual real-life transformer. Why? Well, because when the company that bought this plane is not using it to transport 149 passengers, it can actually be used to carry around 20 tons of cargo. And if you're wondering how any of this is possible, then we will have to talk about the quick change option. To put it simply, this is a system that the Boeing 737-700C uses to go from a passenger plane to a freighter in just one hour. Compare that with the industry average of five hours, and that's all thanks to the pallet-mounted seats. And despite the versatility, only five of them have been sold to date. Two to Saudi Aramco back in 2001, one to Son Air in 2008, and recently Air Algeri purchased two more in 2016. Number three, NASA 515, the Boeing 737 Flying Laboratory. This is the plane NASA uses to test and demonstrate how to apply new concepts in situations pilots might encounter in real life. Using innovations in computer-generated display formats, research pilots could interact with the air traffic control in a busy terminal area. The plane has two cockpits, the standard one located above the nose of the plane for operational support and safety. But then, the second one is in the form of an operational research flight deck, which you can find in the former first-class cabin of the 737. To manufacture just one of these bad boys, NASA had to shell out $2.2 million. Number 2. The 737-200 fitted with the unpaved strip kit. This is not so much a model as it is a special system that allows the plane to take off from gravel, dirt, and even grass. However, there were some guidelines you had to follow. You see, the surface mustn't have any bumps higher than 3 inches on the road, no standing water is allowed, and the surface has to have a thickness of at least 6 inches. So, what were the components that were included in this unpaved strip kit? Simple. There was a nose gear gravel deflector, smaller deflectors on the oversized main gear, protective metal shields on the hydraulic tubing, protective metal shields over the speed brake cables, vortex dissipator fitted to the engine nacelles, and much, much more. All of this only increased the cost for about $15 per landing, which is peanuts for a 737 flight. Number 1. Boeing 737 NT-43A We've included the NT-43A as our number one pick because it's probably the most mysterious Boeing 737 ever created. The call sign of this aircraft is Romeo Alpha Tango 55, which stands for Radar Aircraft Testbed. The plane can probably be found in Tanopa Test Range Airport, or the more mysterious parking lot, Area 51. Many people have photographed it in tandem with a stealthy aircraft and not much is known about its capabilities. It has radar absorbent coatings and heat mitigation technologies, infrared energy detecting devices, all while the massive radars are presumably capable of taking insanely detailed pictures of the target aircraft, the one to be destroyed by the stealth aircraft flying next to it. On a related note, what would you do if you had a Poseidon P-8 in your backyard? You can tell us in the comment section down below. If you want to watch more Aviation Top 10s, click on any of the videos you see on your screen right now. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.